All right, so let's look at this question, this jam question on linear expansivity. This question says, two metals, P and Q, are heated through the same temperature difference, full stop. If the ratio of the linear expansivity of P to Q is 2 is to 3, and the ratio of their length is 3 is to 4, respectively, the ratio of the increase in length of P to Q is... So you have your options there. All right, let's get this done. So solution. Solution. Let's list out, as usual, given parameters. What's the first thing you're given there? First thing there is, they said two metals P and Q heated. Okay. They said, if the ratio of their linear expansivity of P to Q. So ratio of linear expansivity. So let's call it the linear expansivity expansivity is alpha so alpha p all over alpha q is equal to 2 is to 3 which is actually 2 over 3 in mathematical form so ratio of linear expansivity of p to q is 2 is to 3 that's this okay next up and he said number two next up it says and the ratio of their length is 3 is to 4 respectively when they say respectively it means according to the arrangement in the arrangement, they mention P before Q. That means ratio of the length of P to the length of Q is 3 is to 4. So I would call it um, length or initial length of P to initial length of Q as being equal to 3 is to 4, which is 3 over 4. All right, so you have this. Or if you want to use the exact, um, the exact term, you can see change um, alpha p is to alpha q is equal to 2 is to 3. Also, you can see ratio of the length of p to the length of q is 3 is to 4. All right, so this um, is the same thing. Uh, let me just confirm this. Yeah, 3 is to 4. So they ask you for the ratio of what there? The increase in length of P to Q. So I'm looking for the change in length of P to the change in length of Q. This ratio is equal to what? So I have this. So this is what I have. Um, basically, they ask me for ratio of the change in length. How do I get that? First things first, let's recall formula. Uh, what's our formula there? All right, so record that we said linear expansivity alpha is equal to change in length all over original length into change in temperature. So I have this. Uh, let's get for P and for Q. So it means that um, alpha P will be equal to change in length of P all over the initial length of P into change in temperature. Also, alpha Q is equal to change in length of Q all over L1 Q into change in temperature. So we have this. Now, if I want to ask, why is that I don't have change in TP and change in TQ? And the answer is very simple. They said they were heated through the same temperature difference. That means the change in temperature of P and change in temperature of Q are basically the same thing. So for this reason, I will not put P here and Q since they are both the same thing. All right, so what next? The next thing here is that I'll fall back to this. They said the ratio of this to this. So the ratio of the linear expansivity of P to linear expansivity of Q. Let me get that, that, that done. All right, so my next task would be to bring this idea here, which is that the ratio of linear expansivity of P to linear expansivity of Q. What would that be? Um, this one here in fraction form is alpha P all over alpha Q. And that's equal to alpha P, linear expansivity of P is uh, this one here, which is change in this all over L1 P into this one here, change in T. Perhaps, since I already have a square, a round bracket, I could use a square bracket. So this is my 
numerator. All right, so this is numerator. This all over. Let's get denominator, this one here. So I'll have something that looks like this. That's change in length of Q all over initial length of Q into change in temperature. This, I have this as my denominator. So I have this. All right, so this is numerator. This is numerator divided by. All right, so get this solved. What do you have here? If you try to solve this, this is a fraction. So I'll have that this P all over alpha Q is equal to, so basically it's this divided by this. So I'm having change in length of P all over original length of P, that's L1 P, into change in temperature divided by, divided by this one here, which is change in length of Q all over um, L1 of Q into change in temperature. All right, so I have this. So how do I solve this? Of course, division, and uh, this becomes change in length of P all over original length of P into change in temperature, change here to multiplication, and then invert this. So invert, and I have this, this one goes up. So initial length of Q into this one here, change in temperature all over. This one comes down, change in length of Q. So I have this. All right. So what next here? From here, obviously, this can cancel this. That's mathematically correct. So I'm now left with the concept that change or uh, linear expansivity of P all over linear expansivity of Q is equal to what I have here is change in length of P all over initial length of P times change in length of Q all over or times initial length of Q all over change in length of Q. So I have this. All right, if this is true, this is equal to, I'll do a simple mathematical manipulation. And by that I mean, I'll take the change in length together and then the initial length together. So if that's true, I will have that the change in length of this one first, P, all over, bring this one there, which is change in length of Q times, take these two together, it becomes original length of Q to original length of P. So I have original length of P. So I have this. So what's next in there? I can see that the ratio of P change in length, right? Um, original length of P to original length of Q is three is to four. Uh, okay, so we we'll just bring in those values here and let's see how we do that. All right, so proceeding further, we have that this one here, um, if you impute values, linear expansivity of P to Q, this ratio here was given to us at two over three. So I have that two over three is equal to, right, is equal to change in length of P, which is change in length of P all over change in length of Q, which is what I have here times, so I have times, what I have here is initial length of Q, ratio of initial length of Q to initial length of P. What I was given was um, initial length of P to Q. So how do I solve this? In, in which, so for what I'm given here, this one here, Q is numerator, P is denominator. For what I have here, P is numerator, Q is denominator. So what do I do? It's as easy as this. So the, the idea is this. When L1Q is 4, L1P is 3. So in a case like this one here, when it's now upside down, what you do is what there, flip the answers upside down. That means if I'm taking P all over Q, it becomes 4 all over 3. Just turn it upside down. That's all. It becomes 4. So 
L1 Q is 4 all over L1 P is 3. This concept is mathematically correct. So I have this. All right, so I'm, I'm now here. What's my next task? I want to get this value. So what do I do here? From a simple mathematical process, your idea would be um, simply multiply both sides by something that will make this one. And that's simply 3 over 4. Or if you want to, you can just say divide both sides by 3 over 4. All right, so it becomes 2 over 3. Divide here by this one here, what I have here. So it depends on your mathematical knowledge, all right? The easiest step would be multiply here by 3 over 4. So that to cancel this and make it 1, also multiply here by 3 over 4. Or let's use the easiest part. The easiest, easiest part here, just to make things easy for everyone, divide here by what's attached to this. That's 4 over 3. Divide here by what's attached to this. That's 4 over 3. This is also mathematically correct, where this cancels this. So I'm left with this. So it means that it means that this, which is change in length of P to change in length of Q is equal to I have 2 over 3 all over 4 over 3. So this is equal to this is equal to what I have here 2 over 3 divided by what I have here 4 over 3. All right, so this is equal to this is equal to 2 over 3. So I have 2 over 3. To solve this, change this to multiplication, so times, and then invert this, take it upside down, so 3 over 4. So I have 3 over 4. From here, 3 cancels 3. It's off there. 2 here, 1. 2 here, 2. So I have that the change in the length of P to the change in the length of Q is equal to 1 over 2, 1 over 2. If I express this as a ratio, it will be equal to this one here, 1 is to denominator 2. So my answer is 1 is a 2. And this was option A in my question. All right, so the option A is the correct answer. All right, so before I go, you try this jam question. This one says, a wire of length 100.0 meters at 30 degrees Celsius has a linear expansivity of 2 times 10 to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. Calculate the length of the wire at the temperature of minus 10 degree Celsius. So I have this, all right? I think this would be, for this one here, okay, for this one here, um, there's, a, there's a decrease in temperature. So since there's a decrease in temperature, you expect that the length should be smaller. All right, so you have option A, B, C, D. So most likely option C or option D should be your correct answer. But then you solve it and leave your answer in the comment section, all right? All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please like this video and leave a comment. Also check out my website, www.junaimani.com forward slash courses, and you see the jam slash YF courses. It gives you access, a lifetime access to over 100 videos on mathematics, physics, and chemistry, and other sciences, all right? So you can register an account with the website and then order for the courses. Thank you very much and see you in the next class. Don't forget to like the video, all right? See you in the next class.